Today we're making a Five to Freddy's game on Scratch. Um, we'll be making the menu up to the office. So, yeah, here, here it is. Create your warning text. Whatever you want, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Put some code on it so it'll show when you start the game. Cause yeah, that's how that works. Then make it broadcast a new message and call that menu. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, then make your little guy in the corner doing whatever. Import this I already made. And then uh, put some code in it so it looks pretty cool, I guess. And then, uh, uh <laughs> when, I, when I receive menu, put a forever on it, um, show, and then, put a, five to ten seconds then go in here and like make them glitch out or whatever your goofy ass five nights at freddy's thing there <laughs> um switch to costume one Ten times. Next costume. Costume. Then switch to costume. Uh, add that. Oh. Add that. See, so, yeah, he did his little glitchy ass thing. So <sighs> we can do that. Um. Okay, so you got your little dude guy there, and now you're gonna add a title. Cause, you know, you want people playing this game, like the five people playing this game, saying knowing what kind of game this is. So just add. Um, put your little thing there here. Like, there, perfect. Make the text too big because it also looks just dumb. Um, always put a go to zero zero when you make a new sprite. Cause then it'll just what when the game starts will just be somewhere else like that. So put it there. Then it's yeah. Uh oh, so press hide. When I see menu show, let's see how it looks. So that's your warning. You got your little main menu going here. All right, you're almost done. Um, if you want, you can like make it all glitchy, kind of like style. If you want it to be extra unoriginal, but yeah, whatever. I'm not joking. Um. Do the same thing we did with the little uh, animatronic guy, whatever you want to call it. No, no, it's just dream or whatever. Um, next costume. It's, yeah, see how it's glitching out, being super original. Uh, I don't know, I put 
that there. Um, when I receive, say, new game, you want you want it to hide, <clears throat> and you want the same thing with your little character here. So just copy that and paste it in there. Um, we're almost done, so now we just gotta add some buttons to press. Let's do a new game button. Make it, uh, make it white, let's see. Do new game. Again, reset its position and hide it. And then, when, uh, when I receive menu, show. Uh, yeah, no, 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 that looks pretty good. Um, one thing you can add to make it a bit more cooler is. Uh, if you, if you hover your mouse over it, a little arrow comes up. So let's make that costume now. Yeah, it looks. Um, so, as you menu forever, put an if else uh, thing in there, and sensing. If touching mouse pointer, switch to costume two, else push costume one. So yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Oh, another thing that you need to add with your buttons here uh, is put some blackness behind that because right now it's only detecting if your mouse touches the letters. So if you just touch here, then it, it it still makes a little arrow thing come up. So then you don't have to press the white letters there. Okay, so then what you need to add is uh, when the sprite is clicked, broadcast, new game, and then hide. So let's see. Uh, do we add this? Yeah. Okay. Let's try it out. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, so now we need to add the, um, like your newspaper or whatever you want to add. So, newspaper. Right, I know it's super original, right, guys? Just make your little paper here. Just like, you can do whatever you want. I, mean, I don't know. Like, whatever you want. So then, when I receive new game, set ghost effect to 100. So I this. And show and change ghost effect to and repeat that times. Right, yeah, that looks pretty good. Then wait two seconds. Causing an issue there, so let me just see if that fixes that.
right now works. Okay, so wait two seconds and then box two and hide. So let's see how that. Ah, yeah, that works. Then you want to see how the little night thing comes out. So, nights. Um, make like a black screen with a little white word saying night one. It was actually probably good to put this in your backpack. <laughs> Just drag it to any sport. Um, okay, um, let's see here. So, when I see night show, you show, wait, like, Three seconds and hide, then broadcast start game. And then here you want to broadcast night, <clears throat> night show. Alright, see how that works. Me menu and then Press new game. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Right now, for the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add the office. Or, yeah, office. Really original scratch five space game. Put your little office in here. I pre-made mine. Um, add your little go to zero and hide text. And when I see start game show and duplicate this, and when I see start game forever, put set. X and then set Y. Get two multiplication things. Put uh, mouse X, mouse Y, then put negative zero twenty one. Oh, and you can put this wherever you want. It's just my personal preference here. I mean, depends on how your office is. You can do it only horizontal if you want. If you want to make that real fine dights at Freddy's kind of style. But honestly, I like look, being able to look up and down. Because, you know, it makes it look nice. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Little office, you can look around. Um, in the next episode, I'm probably gonna add some doors and lights, and maybe the cameras, but I think this is a pretty good start.